So you love putting teriyaki sauce on your chicken, your pork, your meat, your vegetables, but you're looking for something just a little bit different. How about a teriyaki sauce with a tropical twist? Welcome to the Sauce and Gravy channel. This is Johnny Mac, and I'm going to show you how to make a Hawaiian pineapple teriyaki sauce. Buckle up, let's go. We'll start off first with a little prep work. I'm going to hit the pineapple first. And you really don't have to use fresh pineapple if you don't feel like cutting it up. You can buy the canned pineapple or you can buy fresh pineapple that's already pre-cut in the produce section of your grocery store. But here's a quick demo on how to cut a fresh pineapple. It's really not too bad. You cut off the top, the bottom, then you cut it in half, and then you try to work out that tough membrane that's in the center. Cut this in half, so now we've quartered the entire pineapple. So these are two big chunks that we're going to work with for this sauce. Take one of the big sections, cut it in half. Now we're gonna work on getting rid of that tough skin on the outside of the pineapple. So the key is to have it nice and sturdy. So take that pineapple chunk, turn it on its side, the long flat side, and then just remove that outer skin. And for this particular pineapple teriyaki sauce, I'm gonna juice a little bit of this pineapple and I'm gonna chop up a little bit so we can simmer it with the sauce. Take one of the sections, grab that knife, give it a chop. It doesn't have to be any particular size. This is gonna go into the sauce while we simmer it. So that's it. So we have our big chunks that we're gonna juice and we have our little guys that we chopped up that we're gonna simmer with the sauce. It's time to crank up that juicer. We need at least half of a cup or 125 milliliters of pineapple juice. So I'm gonna use three large sticks of pineapple and throwing them on in. If you don't have a juicer, you can use pineapple juice or if you're using canned pineapples, you can use that juice that's in the can. All right, so let's put everything together and make a teriyaki sauce. Grab one cup or 250 milliliters of sake. Put it into a saucepan over medium to medium high heat. Next, add half of a cup of mirin, that's 125 milliliters, pour it on in. And a quick word to the wise, if you have a very high sided saucepan, you'll definitely wanna use it. And I'll tell you why in just a minute. Now it's time to pour in a little bit of soy sauce. I'm using regular soy sauce, one cup, or about 250 milliliters. Grab that pineapple juice, it's time to pour it in. If you're using fresh pineapple juice that you just squeezed, it's a good idea to give it a little bit of a mix. Add half of a cup or 125 milliliters. For some additional flavor, add one and a half tablespoons of freshly chopped ginger and about half of a cup of chopped pineapples and add six cloves of garlic. And I like to use this garlic press. It does a really good job of just pulverizing that garlic, just getting every last little bit of it into the sauce. Give everything a little bit of a mix and bring it to a simmer. Once it starts to simmer, reduce it down for 20 to 25 minutes. So I mentioned before that you want to use a high sided saucepan if you have one. So if you're not watching the sauce really closely whenever it starts to come to a simmer, it will literally erupt out of the saucepan and go all over the place. So a high sided saucepan is definitely advisable. So it's been 25 minutes, so I reduced this down roughly by half. Check it out, it's nice and thick, it's infused all of those flavors. Take the teriyaki sauce off heat, let it sit and marry those flavors for at least 10 to 15 minutes. If you can go longer, even better. Grab a fine sieve and filter out the big chunks of pineapple, garlic, and ginger. Pour it into a glass container and you can use it either on the spot or store it in the fridge, but this is perfect for a marinade, a dipping sauce, or you can even convert it into a glaze. Well, thanks for watching the Sauce and Gravy channel. I hope that you enjoyed this recipe on how to make a pineapple teriyaki sauce. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And if you like sauces and gravies, don't forget to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and to remember as always, to live, love, and make gravy.